Okay, there's been a million YouTube videos claiming that Tesla is now building a gigafactory in where? Indonesia. Is this actually true? Well, as you guys know, I like to talk about facts, not fantasy. So here's the reality. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I am the Electric Viking. Thank you for subscribing. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. Everyone else, Tesla, are they building a gigafact in Indonesia? Well, the Indonesian government has speculated that maybe it's happening and the internet has exploded with confirms that yes, Tesla will build a gigafact in Indonesia. Do we have any confirmation of this really happening? No, we do not. Now, the internet is saying that Tesla has reportedly agreed to build a battery and electric vehicle plant in Indonesia after CEO Elon Musk met with the Southeast Asian country's president, Yoko Widodo, last weekend at the SpaceX launch site in Texas. Indonesia's investment minister, Balil Laladalia, said on May 19 that the deal is done without providing any details. He did say that the project might even begin this year. As reported by Binar News, the minister said that Tesla agreed to build a battery and electric vehicle plant at an industrial complex in the country's central Jawa province. God willing, Tesla will enter Indonesia this year, but I can't announce the month yet. Let's wait, because we haven't signed an agreement yet. How much investment is still being kept secret? Still waiting. But this is good stuff. Big stuff. Indonesia's investment minister, Balil Laladalia. Now, Balil is saying conflicting statements here. On the one hand, he's saying, yes, Tesla's going to build a gigafactory in Indonesia. And on the other hand, he's saying, God willing, nothing has been signed yet. So, yeah, a little bit confusing. One point I think I should you should be aware of is there's a lot of corruption in Indonesia. There's some really rich people and there's a whole lot of really poor people. It's not a very wealthy country, not a very fair, equal spread of wealth through that country. Now, if you think the inequality in the US or in Australia is changing and getting worse, well, you haven't looked at a country like Indonesia because, frankly, the difference there is staggering. I spent a, a little while there riding my bike across the country it was kind of scary, actually. Um, yeah, I saw some crazy accidents where trucks are just overturned and the roads were crazy. And I genuinely actually felt kind of sorry for a lot of the people that live there who work really hard. And then you see a lot of the politicians, right? A lot of the corruption going on in the country. It's not a country where the West has a great history of doing business and being successful. After meeting Elon Musk on May 15, Indonesian President Yoko Widodo said he discussed technology and innovation with the billionaire entrepreneur. In a video released after the meeting, Tesla's CEO said he was fired up. Indonesia's enthusiasm, adding that Tesla and SpaceX are looking closely to a potential collaboration on many, many fronts. Indonesia has been trying to attract investment from Tesla for a few years now, as have many countries seeking to take advantage of its position as the world's largest producer of nickel. The metal is a critical element for the cathodes of electric vehicle batteries. However, keep in mind, companies are trying to reduce nickel content in their batteries. Obviously, lithium ion phosphate batteries don't have any nickel. And there are plans from many battery companies and electric car companies to reduce the amounts of nickel in their batteries. Why nickel's price is insane. 20% of the world's nickel comes from Russia. And since the war in Russia, nickel prices have just gone absolutely ballistic. By 2025, Indonesia has set a goal for 20% of its cars built domestically to be electric. That's an ambitious target, seeing as most of the cars that Indonesia currently makes, which is about 1 million a year, are powered by internal combustion engines. Indonesia is trying to grow its electric vehicle market, with Hyundai recently starting production of the Ionic 5 in Indonesia, while China's Wuling Motors is expected to make small EVs, like the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, 
at the its Indonesian plant later this year. So when you hear this, right, you've got to put two and two together, right? Two and two, put them together. What does that equal? Well, people in Indonesia, what's the perfect car for them? The Wuling Hong One Mini EV. You know, most Indonesians don't have a car. Most Indonesians would love to have a car. They've never been up to afford one. The Wuling Hong One Mini EV is perfect for a country of 274 million people meaning it's the world's fourth most populous country with a GDP of around $1.3 trillion per year, with an estimated GDP in 2022 of around $4 trillion, making it the world's seventh largest economy. However, in spite of the fact of having 274 million people, it only sold 867,000 cars in 2021. That's a lot less than here in Australia, where our number was over a million, where we have a population of only 25 million people, less than 10% of the population in Indonesia. However, context is needed here, right? Hyundai and LG Energy Solutions have started construction of a 1.1 billion US dollar electric vehicle battery plant near the capital city of Jakarta. Tesla would be very aware of this development. When finished, this battery factory is expected to produce enough cells to power 150,000 electric vehicles a year. Production will start in 2023. Now, does it make sense for Tesla to build a gigafactory in Indonesia? To build batteries? Absolutely, it makes sense. There are obviously battery materials around. I mean, Australia has huge deposits of lithium. They just started producing EV, electric vehicle grade lithium which is very different to the normal lithium that producers in Australia currently produce. So that is ramping up. Yes, there will be plenty of minerals around in that area of the world for Tesla to build a battery gigafactory. A car gigafactory, on the other hand, I highly doubt it. I think it's highly unlikely. Nothing has actually been signed or confirmed yet. And in fact, I think Tesla is much more likely to focus on doing what? doubling the size of its Shanghai plant, making that the largest car plant in the world, which they've already confirmed they are doing, and which, is I, which I said many months ago would happen, increasing production at Berlin, where they are looking at buying more land in order to double the size of the factory there as well, and obviously wrapping up Texas and their Fremont, California factory. Now, will they build a factory in Indonesia at some point in time? I'm going to say probably will. Will it be within the next few years? I think not. Now, there are some advantages to Indonesia, that said. One of them is fairly cheap labor. Now, the other advantage is obviously having battery production pretty close to where it's actually mined. So this could be a factory where they build batteries from minerals mined in Australia and Indonesia. In addition to that, if Tesla did decide to build a gigafactory to build cars in Indonesia, they could then ship these cars from Indonesia to Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, even Africa itself, and also where else? Well, the country with the world's largest population, India. India will not accept cars built in China. They're basically saying a big F you to China. China and India hate each other. So India says no to Tesla's Chinese electric cars. If Tesla built EVs in Indonesia, they could then ship these cars from Indonesia and send them straight over to India, where Indians will accept cars from that country. However, this is not likely to be a plan for Tesla. It sounds good, but in reality, the cost of buying Tesla's EVs, in fact, the cost of buying any EVs if you're currently in Indonesia is ludicrous. If those cars are not made in India, then there is a 100% import tax. Um, that means that those cars are out of reach for about 99.9% .9 of India's population. Think about it, right? If a Tesla Model 3 costs, say, 40,000 US dollars, that makes it 80,000 US dollars. That means that this would not be a realistic plan for Tesla. If Tesla really wants to sell EVs in India, then what will they do? The only choice they really have is to build a car factory in India. And I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Now, 
These reports are not particularly surprising, given the fact that the Indonesian government has tried very hard to convince Elon Musk to invest in Indonesia. Now, this is the second time that the government has reached out to Elon Musk and to Tesla after the previous government failed to convince Musk to establish a factory. And now I honestly think these reports are simply political grandstanding from the current government. They're hoping that by saying this, they will get brownie points. The people in Indonesia will think they're doing amazing things. When the reality is nothing at all has been signed. Nothing yet. And until we hear something being signed, there is no proof whatsoever to any of these reports. That said, I'm hoping that Tesla do build one there. I'd love to see one. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Do you think Tesla should build a gigafactory in Indonesia? Would this be a good strategy in your view? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.